What's up, everybody? Looks very blue. Let the uh, auto color go on here. Anyway, this is a clock update. Some of you are actually kind of interested in this little old clock. Big old clock, I should say. So I'm giving you a second update. Um, last time I was trying to make a pendulum and try to make it work and all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, the other thing I was doing was some of you thought this clock was too short. Um, so between now and then, um, I have went ahead and added the base, which I originally, I had this base. Uh, it had round, big round feet on the front and the back ones were broken off. Um, it's missing, it's missing a part there. And there's a, there's a piece missing right there. So I wasn't really concerned. I kind of just like the fact that this base, I kind of just like this half of it. But, uh, yeah, the sun's bright. I changed my mind. I'll move this. I changed my mind, and I went ahead and put the uh, put the whole thing on there. I'm gonna close this because I can't see the thing. It's too bright. It's still too bright. Anyway, um, get some better lighting later. Hi, kid. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Look at yourself. Look at yourself. Yes, daddy's camera. Daddy's camera. Oh, we're not happy. <laughs> that's a that's a mild tantrum. <laughs> anyway, so um what have I done to this clock? First of all, it's keeping very good time. Um, it actually will ding on the hour, every hour, exactly when I want it. So that's a good deal. Um, now originally, since I only had the lower half, problem one of the problems with just having the lower half was the fact that uh, the weights got down to the base and then they hit the floor. So I just wound them. They're currently right here, and they will go all the way down into the pits, into the black hole, which is into that base, because they're actually that base is actually open. Um, so what did I do here? Um, I had some brass rod, and I just took a, a tap, or a die, I should say, and I ran it all the way down that sucker, and I threaded it all the way to the end. So it's moving, so it's going to be hard to see, but... You can see the threads on there. So I didn't have a long enough piece, so I just made a plastic coupling. I just tapped that and uh, just attached it to that saw blade that you guys saw up here last time. And then I took a brass uh, a brass weight and I just drilled a hole all the way through that sucker. You can see it kind of blew out the sides, but that's okay. And um, that's just a brass gear, actually. Um, and then took some other small pieces that I had and threw and tap those out because I didn't have the right stuff to make this all work. So those two pieces right there, if I can get a good steady shot, those two pieces are actually, you can thread those up and thread those down. So right now I've got them um, locked together to where they're both tight against each other. So you just break one loose and then you can turn that weight up or down and you can get it to be, um, you can basically adjust it. And that's how you actually adjust the timing. So you can add a whole bunch of weight, or hardly any weight, and the pendulum still swings at the exact same rate. The only thing that it changes the, the difference is whenever you add, uh, whenever you bring the weight closer or lower away from the, the center point up here where it's hanging. So rather interesting. So you have to get the weight just right so the clock continues to tick tock. Too much weight and it doesn't, it can't keep it moving. Too little weight and it, uh, it doesn't work either. So this happens to be about the exact right amount of weight. I actually don't know what that weighs. I can weigh it. I forgot. I did weigh it, but I don't remember. But um, but yeah, so this thing has been keeping perfect time. took me about two weeks to uh, get this weight adjusted right. And once I got the weight adjusted right, it was good. So uh, you can see these uh, screws sticking out of the back. I did mount this thing to the wall. See, there's two screws back there. Then we're like 
on the little 8 inch screws. So I just ran them straight through the back of the clock, right into the wall, and that keeps it um, steady, plus it holds it in place. So I wish I could get a better overview with better lighting, man. It's a little better lighting. So this clock is now very, very, very tall. Um, I mean, it's almost against the ceiling. So you can see, man, that lighting, I wish it, oh well. Anyway, um, let me put it on auto. Anyway, so there you go. That's just a clock update. Let me get you some better details of the base because I didn't, I didn't last time. Now, the reason I put the base back on here, like I said, and this, I didn't want to put it on here because I'm missing this whole piece. I'm probably going to try to make one. And um, for now, it's just sitting on there. But I, it did have round feet. Elijah, come here, buddy. It did have round feet, but the back two were missing. So it actually looked pretty cool. Come here. Come sit. Come sit. Sit down. Oh, good boy. Good job. Here, come here. I'll, I'll hold you. Uh, uh, there you go. All right. Let's look. Let's look. See what I'm looking at? We're going to look. We're going to show people this clock. You can help me. Okay. I'll zoom in all this. Really fun stuff. So these, these little guys, they match fairly closely to the to the top ones up there but they're definitely different but these people have the same curly cue the same curly cue here as what's up here on these guys it's exactly the same so it's like somebody I don't know somebody took maybe even cut these in half and put them on the front of this because this base is not the same as this top so it's almost like it's just pieced together so it's really, that's one reason I didn't put the base on it, because it was kind of pieced together, but, you know, it is what it is. Interesting stuff going on. Pretty cool, though, all this hand carving. Hey, Dad. Hi, Riley. What do you want to say to everybody? I don't know. We'll figure out something to say. Nothing? Mm. You got to say something to everybody. Say, what's up, everybody? Come on, say, what's up, everybody? I say everything. Say it. Say, what's up, everybody? Say it. All right, well, you're done. Anyway, that's the clock. These two pieces almost look like they're just sitting on top of each other. It's also kind of funny looking. But whoever pieced this thing together, they did an okay job. So now, there it is, the whole unit, and I'm done talking. It keeps perfect time. I'll actually give you guys, uh, give you guys the time. It's currently, um, it's currently 10:28. So it's right between the two. And I wound it earlier, so I need to adjust it. So when the hour comes, I'll turn the camera on and I'll slice that onto the end of this video. That's it. Peace out, guys. That clock is huge. Here's here's comparison. I'm standing next to it so you can see how tall it is. It's pretty tall. Say bye, Elijah. <gasps> bye. Say bye. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Can you wave? Bye. There you go. Okay, bye.
Alright guys, boys and girls. Hi Elijah. Hi buddy. Hi. Hi. Okay, you're gonna be mad at me. Alright, so this is the video I'm currently doing. And the only reason I'm doing this is because this is the one week. It's been exactly one week. I'll hold you, okay? And I wanna see. Oh. Ah. I wanna see how close this kept time in one week and then we'll open the case and s and see how far down the uh, the weights are so 168 hours if I've calculated this right is one week We're currently sitting at 168 59 32 I do know it's like 10 seconds off but uh, 10 seconds in a week that ain't bad so we're gonna wait for it to ding it's gonna ding exactly at the time I started it or that's the goal. So I'm just gonna get close so we can actually see the clock. Ding. Yeah, don't touch it. So let's see where we're at. There it is, Six, 15 to 16 seconds. Now, I will tell you that when I originally started the video, I was about two seconds late. So I'm gonna say about 12, 12 seconds. 10 to 12 seconds is, uh, is how far this thing's off. Hold on, Elijah, hold on. 10 to 12 seconds, so let's, this is my only way to get this open. Let's look at the weights. They've still got another, what? Mm, it looks to be about eight inches down there. So that's one week, non-stop running. It's pretty well kept time, I'll tell you what. So I'm actually, I, I, I might leave this alone, but then again, I might adjust it. Cause the thing is, is every time I adjust this, it's gonna, like every time, like right now every week when I wind this clock up, uh, it's basically I'm going to have to stop the clock for a second. So I don't see the point in trying to calibrate it even more. Uh, okay, all right. Because if I, if I calibrated it anymore, um, if I, it's either going to be off further than that or closer than that. But 12, 12 to 15 seconds in a week. That's awesome for all the homemade parts that I had to put into this thing. Alright, well that's it. That's the clock. I'm not going to give you guys any more updates on this sucker. That's the end of it. As far as videotaping, I guess. I don't have anything more important to say. Unless I... Unless the weight falls off because the, the saw blade eventually is going to snap off, I'm afraid. Even though it's spring steel. It'll eventually might break. So that's it. Say bye, Elijah. Bye! Good boy, say bye. Oh, you're not happy. All right. Peace and love, all. Have a good day. Let me know what you think. See ya.